Hey, hello, welcome back. My name's Pat, and we are making RV memories. Oh, but wait a minute. We've added to that name. Now you can call us, we're making RV and beach memories. Huh, hey, like that, we've added to that name, and it's gonna be a blast too. Now, if you've been following our journey over the last year, you know we sold our house back in Mooresville, North Carolina. We both retired, you know, well, you know I'm an old guy. As Aunt B would say on Andy Griffith, we're not spring chickens anymore. And we're not like fine wine. We don't get better with age. I'm sort of like milk. <laughs> I just get sour and a little chunky. But we're off on our adventure here. And we've traveled the East Coast in our 41-foot fifth wheel. That I named the fifth wheel. We call it our Hillbilly Hilton. Pulling it with our F-350 dually. The one with the wide hips. <laughs> and I got to watch where I park at. She won't fit in just a regular parking stall. And boom, we became full-time RVers right off the bat. And over our past year of traveling up and down the East Coast, boy, we've seen some really cool places and a lot of cool campgrounds. You know, we turned that 41-foot fifth wheel, our hillbilly hill, and we turned it into a home. We celebrated holidays inside. Boy, we made it through a really burr, cold, snowy winter there in Concord. And man, we've had a lot of awesome friends we've made on the campgrounds. Some of those friends we'll keep forever and ever. And that's, uh, that's been a real blessing for us there. You know, campers, they're the best people you'll ever want to meet, sort of like race fans. You've made a race fan on a campground or just campers at the beach campground. Oh man, smell some of the best food you ever had cooking and they're the, some of the best people you ever want to run into. And we'll make some friends uh, on along the way. We'll never stop camping and giving you RV tips and some advice, but I had some health issues before we quit, you know, about my heart attack. Uh, so it slowed us down a little bit from traveling up and down the highway. Along with some of the diesel prices getting up close to $6 a gallon. Whoo, boy, my F-350 has got a 50-gallon tank, and I had to take out a second mortgage just to get the tank filled up. So it's, uh, that slowed us down just a little bit. And those rough interstates and some of the roads. Wow, man, we was shaking some of the dishes out of the cupboards, and it just shook me and Glenn right out of the front seat of the truck sometimes. So a little bit of the rough roads, the diesel, some health issues. We've decided to slow down just a little bit. We're going to pursue our second bucket list dream and guess what that's we're going to build our very own dream beach house and we want you to follow right along with us there you can see it from start to finish the completion something we've dreamed about just having our own beach house so follow along with us we're going to build our own beach dream house here and where else would we build it and we build it right here in myrtle beach that's where i've been coming since i was a tadpole Mom and Dad would bring us down back when we were just kids from all the way from West Virginia down to Myrtle Beach. And even though me and Glenn has visited at a lot of beaches, uh, we've always come back to Myrtle because that's a place that she and I both just love to be. So that's where our dream house is going to be built. So follow along with us. We're going to, we're going to uh, show you start to finish what we've done here. And I've just looking around, you can sort of see, hey, what a view. That's going to be our backyard. That's why you want to build a dream beach house right there but first we had to find a place uh, we had looked at houses we've looked at empty lots so we finally found us a place that we could just uh, it was an older place that we could just tear down and try to build a new one right on top of us so we could build what we wanted uh, she could design the rooms the way she wanted I could put it up on stilts so I could park up underneath and keep the sun off our vehicles and have a cool shade place to to put my barbecue so <laughs> it's gonna be a blast so come along with us let's uh, let me show you how we uh, tear it down, how we level the lot, and how we get the, the house started back up. Be a nice little series for us to do, and I hope you follow along with us. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, we invite you to hit that little subscription button right there. I'm shooting for a thousand subscribers. We're up a little over 350, so join the crowd. Join the uh, Making RVs and Beach families here, and uh, you can join along with us. Click on that little like button there. Uh, YouTube likes to see that checked. And leave me a comment. Uh, I'll answer all the comments. I enjoy reading them and I know that you're enjoying the videos. And uh, join along with our little, uh, our series here on building our dream beach home. And me and Glenna will always, always tell you, God bless you all.